is it? At Afford Anything, a blog by Paula Pant, one of her ideas is that you can afford anything, but you can't afford everything. Decreasing your expenses and optimizing your lifestyle ideally go hand in hand so that decreasing the expenses doesn't just become a temporary thing. Raising your awareness is the first step towards intentional change, so spend some time in the next few days and this week tracking where your money goes. Swipe up from the bottom right here at this chat button and let us know what expenses have you come across lately that were unexpected, either small or large. You would never go run a marathon on your first day jogging, so don't feel like you have to track everything in detail. Just start to take notice of where the money goes. When it comes to decreasing expenses, it's not always about elimination, but sometimes it's about just reducing the cost of something. For example, can you get a smaller cup of coffee? Check bank and credit card statements for monthly expenses maybe you even forgot you have going every month. $9 here, $10 there, it adds up quick. Cash Chat Snap is a shared story project here at Snapchat. It's the business of your personal finance, so please tell your friends about us and have them join the story. Cash Chat Snap is a shared story project and does not give specific financial advice. Think of it more of a Ask Jeeves. Would you ask Jeeves to do your taxes? Decreasing expenses can be tricky when you're also trying to optimize lifestyle. You don't want to be a penny sound and a pound foolish. My bike is making some sounds that I can't fix, so I'm going to see what they can do for me at a reasonable price. I got some really quick tips on how to take care of the bike, but um, I'm also going to ask for their help when it comes to the more complicated stuff. Where you